Welcome to the Important Outdoors. My name is Michael, and today we're going to be doing some upgrades to the boat and trailer. So I've owned the Prince Craft Yukon 140 for a couple of years now, and I love the boat very much. I like that it has the flat floor and it's easy to get around, but there are a few things that I've been wanting to upgrade on the trailer especially to make loading and unloading the boat a little bit easier. So behind me, you'll see I've got some 44 inch boat guides they are gonna go on. And one thing that came with this caravan trailer behind me is it never came with a spare. I think it was an option when I bought it, uh, but I'm not sure if they had stock at that time. So I've got a spare tire. I've also got a tire carrier, which is obviously somewhere to put the tire. And I've also upgraded my anchor line as well as a dock line. So we're gonna be installing all these things on the boat today as well as putting the battery in and getting it ready to fish. So this is the first time I've actually uncovered the boat this year and I'm very much looking forward to getting out on the water. So we'll be testing the engine as well, making sure the oil's good and all the other bits and pieces we need to get the boat ready to take it fishing. So first thing I think we'll throw on the tire carrier. So let's go grab some tools. So I'm thinking we're going to put the mount here somewhere. I think that'll work nicely. I don't want to be too close to that marker light because I'd like to keep that visible. So I think somewhere around there. And I think I might put some tape on the back as well just to uh, so it doesn't rub off any of the powder coating. So I've made it a life goal never to have a puncture on a trailer that I can't repair with a carriage spare. I tried to learn from other people's mistakes and I've seen many people trapped by the side of the highway with a trailer tire blown out. I feel it's completely worth the extra expense to carry a spare because it's going to get extremely spendy if you have to go out and rush and get a tire as well as the major inconvenience it's going to cause you. So I'd always recommend having a spare tire on your trailer. So I had to flip over to my DJI Action 3 because my Sony A7 IV is overheating in the strong sunlight and it's plus 30 today in Medicine Hat. So got the first one done. Let's get on to the back and put the guides on. Okay. You might have to read the instructions for this one. So the boat guides are actually very simple. All they do is guide the boat onto the trailer and line it up with the bunks below. In windy conditions, this can be quite difficult, especially if done alone. And these guides will make that job very, very simple. I don't know if I like that. To be honest, it's kind of high up. below the bunk so I don't think it will hit anything. I think I'm going to do it a different way. Okay so I picked up some 3 8 washers. Think of those guys. So let's see how this is going to go. So 
I wasn't very happy with the way the bolts were protruding upwards, so I did end up cutting them down so they're just sticking up about an inch from the top of that plate. Okay, so we've roughly got them in place. Just gonna tighten that up. Gives us a gap. Might move them in a little bit more. Something like that, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and get these tightened up. And then we just have to replicate it on the other side. So I think that's good. It's only a bit tight in. I can always adjust them if I need to. I think that should sit us right in the center. So I'm gonna call that good. So I think the next job is to get my anchor hooked up. So I'm gonna need that anchor line. That should be pretty straightforward. So we just clipped it on, just have a formed loop on the end, so it's really good, it's sliced in, whipped, so I don't think it's gone anywhere, and then this is how I tend to tie this off, so it's pretty easy to get out again if I need to, but I can also tie off the anchor. Perfect. Now I've got my dock line. So this is when I'm handling the boat, trying to pull it in. So that's a nice big loop on one end. There's a whipped end on the other end. So on this end, I'm going to put my clip on the side. Okay, so I decided to go with a 12 kilonewton carabiner instead. So I'm going to rip my other clip. So that should be. Fine, so I can just clip that to the front of the boat. So that's all done. So the next thing is to put the battery in, just got to go in there and check the engine oil. Off camera I did check the oil in the leg. And this was fresh oil from the service last year, so that was all good to go. Yep, just 
good. So let's check my hour meter. It looks like the battery's dead. So we'll do that. So change this at nine hours. August 22nd, so that was all new. But I think we're just going to change the battery on this thing. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else we need to do in the engine. That looks pretty good. battery in. I think we're ready to hook up the motor. Okay, I've got my ears put on. Let's turn the water on. Okay, so we got everything done that we wanted to do today. We got the spare tire on, we've got the guides installed, we've got the deck line installed, the new anchor line, battery installed, and the engine's up and running. So I think we're done. And tomorrow we're going to take it out for the first fishing trip of the year and see that everything's working as it should. I've got a fishing trip uh, planned for the end of May. Uh, me and a couple of friends are going to uh, I'd say it's central Saskatchewan. It's about six hours north of Medicine Hat. And we're going to go fishing for three days, stay in the cabin. I'm going to bring in the Prince Craft Yukon 140 uh, because this is a nice boat for people to be in because of the flat deck. Uh, have my boat seat up front. Another person can sit on the side cabinets and then I'll sit at the back, but we'll probably take turns at different positions anyway. So, that's all we have time for today. If you have any questions or if you have any comments, leave them below. But until next time, take care.
as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.